I mean, it took energy, effort, and fight. Those are games I live for, honestly. Those are the best games. Those are the games you remember. And they came out and played us hard. They never laid down. But it takes energy and us being together. I think it pulled that win out. Oh, my gosh. I don't think you understand. We practice shots like that all the time. That one more um, in the baseline drift. And I was like, I have to knock this down. I have to make this shot. And we got to get a step on defense in next possession. It felt really, really good. Big shot, big shot. Obviously, uh, you know, it was tough when Asia went down. Um, you know, what was just kind of y'all's message to each other at that point? I mean, we saw the fall, you know. At the end of the day, we're going to pray for it. But I think that made us want it even more. Seeing her go down, we were like, hey, let's win this game for her at the end of the day. Absolutely. Brought us together for sure. Does it build any kind of confidence that you guys shoot relatively poorly by y'all standards and still find a way to get it done in the end and get the win? Oh, for sure. You know, I don't think we shot the ball. Like you said, we didn't shot it. We shot it better in the past. And as you know, as we get down and stretch, I think we'll start to see where we can shoot the ball on the perimeter. And that'll stretch the game wide open. As you said, we didn't knock down shots. So that played a big part in it. Yeah. That's what she does. That's what she does. Whether it's rebounding or scoring, whatever she can do, she's going to give you her everything. And defensively, too. She is huge for us defensively. She uses her length really, really well um, and just plays the ball super well and is super physical with the bigs inside. So just really proud of her. She had a great game tonight. For sure. Ooh. I mean, you know, it's just like, hey, this is like what you live for. This is what you work on each and every day. What the blood, the sweat, the tears, you pray for games like this. I mean, you don't want them always like that. But these are fun games to play in, especially with the crowd we have. It makes it a fun atmosphere. Sick and bears, sick and bears. Uh, maybe a little luck, you know. I uh, maybe maybe a freshman out there not knowing that that's a tough shot in the corner when she's watched fifth-year seniors, you know, have open shot after sh open shot and miss. Um, geez, there was a stretch, you know. I thought we were gonna blow it open in the third, and if Jamie just would have knocked a couple open shots down, the floodgates would have opened, you know, and they would have had to play some man. Um, but you know, I thought Bugs got open shots all night long from 15 feet and couldn't make a shot and we fumbled offensive rebounds that should have been lay-ins. Yeah, I mean they're just there was it was it was it was painful. We had 12 turnovers and it felt like 47 um, just because some of our shots um, looked like turnovers I'm sure to fans but I, th I thought we battled. Shoot, Bugs couldn't make a basket but she was down there blocking a shot, grabbing rebounds. Um, you know they were tired. There was no question they were tired. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I thought, you know, we had little moments where uh, you saw Kendra kind of step up. Um, she deposits the last couple in the basket. Once again, we get separation. A, a one possession game comes two, a two possession game becomes three. She's also never been in a game that mattered late in a game. You know, like there's, there's, um, there's something to that. You know, I was. Proud of Cat for coming in. I mean, they they weren't going to come out and guard her at all. I mean, they were. You could hear their coach yelling, "Back up, back up, back up." She's a driver, um, and so for her to stick the one and get a layup on the other, um, you know, those were those were they were all important baskets tonight. You know, to be honest, but um, I, you know, we 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 have to be better. Um, but when you're when you go on and, and you have a Caitlin Bickle who's not playing. And Asia Blackwell isn't playing. And Dre Edwards isn't playing. Um, and you got two freshmen out on the floor. And you're, you're like, that's that team that was out there at the end of the game wasn't the team that I thought I was going to be coaching, you know, late in a close game. And so I'm just, I'm just proud of them. We, we found a way. I mean, um, you know, we went through last year. And until Sarah hurt her hand, you know, we were, we were pretty lucky. And this year, like it, when it rains, it pours, and it's been pouring all fall, um, all fall. 
And so just just praying that that Asia's okay, to be honest with you, at this point, because, um, yeah, she's pretty good. Any thoughts on her? What, what, what did you see? The, probably the same. I, I didn't see anything, to be honest with you. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, and it wasn't the kind of game where I could leave coaching the five kids, you know, on the court or – um, the 10 in the huddle, like I, I just couldn't, I couldn't break away. You know, if it's a 25 point game, I'm over there, um, head leaning in with Shalisa saying, what's going on? You know, but this just I never felt like I could do that, you know, and, and, uh, had to really stay focused on the task at hand. But I said this on the radio, like I, I, I'm sure people are going to be frustrated with the score. That's okay. Um, I think when you look at the box score, you, you might see why, um, but, you know, winning by 25 is fun, but I love a good chess match. I, I prefer not to have been in one tonight, but, you know, you see, you see who's not afraid in those moments, you know, and I, I, I didn't, and maybe, maybe Bella isn't, um, maybe she's so young she should, doesn't know she shouldn't take that three in the corner late. Just glad she did and made it, you know, and I, I think, I mean, and, and, and I'm not sure she makes that three if we don't set a great back screen on the out of bounds and, and get a layup on the inbounds, you know. And you see one go through the basket when you haven't seen the ball go through the basket all game. And all of a sudden, the next one feels a little bit easier. And so I think that that certainly may have happened as well. But she didn't stop battling on the boards, that's for sure. Keep battling. I mean, those girls were – I think I, I said this when we were talking about um, Wilkinson before the game. Um, you know, we <laughs> their, their big three were the, the three that – I mean, 10, 16, and 12. I mean, we, we knew their three leading scores were who were going to get the majority of the touches. And I, I thought they had a stretch where we, we really struggled with, with simple horns, which – I'm telling you, a year ago, I ran the heck out of horns in the fourth quarter myself with Queen and Liz. And so I get it. Like, they played, you know, through those two kids um, and went after our freshmen. You know, they just went after them. Um, and, you know, you, you can't stand behind. You know, at this level, you can't stand behind. You know, Bugs has got to get out, get out on top and use her length. And we got to meet them early. And, um, you know, but... But I, I, I thought we did a lot of things still well on defense. And, um, you know, we battled and got a few stops um, when we needed to and gave us a chance to make some offense and defensive subs and, and uh, you know. Um, but I'm just I'm happy that we, we battled and won, you know. Yeah, she tweaked her ankle, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll uh, not feel good later, but you know, sometimes taping it up and keeping going. I mean, she she made some key plays um, in stretches, and uh, you know, even even some steals, some dig outs. You know, I, I I thought that even though it isn't reflected like in the points, I thought um, Jaden's ball pressure bothered him a lot. You know, and she she made some hustle plays and. Um, I, th I thought her energy was really good. I think it's dictated somewhat by the plus minus when she was out on the floor. Um, you know, I, th I think she, she made us better defensively today. You hope that winning, you know, winning in close games creates confidence. You know, I told them before the game that offense was going to come, but they can always rely on their defense and that I wanted them to impact the game at the defensive end. And I didn't feel like we were very good um, in the first quarter defensively, like the first couple possessions, and then we, we dialed it in. And now you look at it, and it's like we got outscored 21-13 in the fourth. Um, and, and we wore it down, and they went to, to key players and – um, don't think we did a great job on their stagger screen when they hit the three late. I mean, I, I think we had we had some breakdowns. I thought, you know, they did something um, that, like, I don't even think when it was happening, 
we understood it was happening to us. But their point guard was doing a really good job, whoever was bringing it down, of changing sides of the floor. And when they were doing that, um, <laughs> we would have Bugs or, or, or we'd have Kendra back. And our own posts who were back helping basically set a screen on their teammate. Um, when they were crossing over and playing downhill and basically screened off their teammate. And then the kid would go around, you know, our bigs too. And it, they just, they did a good job of uh, what I call slicing the floor, um, which no one's done to us so far. So, you know, it's another thing, like you're just watching and, and they don't, they don't even know what I'm talking about. They, they wouldn't have any idea what I'm talking about until they see it on film. So there, there are just things, and it wasn't something that, to me, watching their first two games, that they really did. You know, but it could have been, hey, teams weren't picking them up so early, and so now all of a sudden they're they're trying to play downhill and not bring it down slowly. So, um, you know, I mean, I, you know, we need we need Jamie to make open shots. Like she's she's too good a shooter to to go two for nine. And of those nine threes, I, I thought eight of them were pretty wide open. You know, I ran a couple plays for it that got her out of a timeout that. You know, those are the ones you want as a coach when you, you draw something up in a timeout and get her a wide open shot. And, and uh, you know, so now it's in the scouting report, obviously, for the next time we play and someone plays a zone. But, um, you know, we, we need her. We need her to make, make threes. Like, it's, it's like it's kind of her job on this team. And so um, I just I trust her to get her those shots and, and to knock them down. You're welcome.